what is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video and today 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 what do i have for you guys i got us another good video man but before i get into today's video i have to give a big shout out to my boy icy nate yet again coming in clutch with another thumbnail so please 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 go give my boy icy nate some love um check out his youtube channel it's at icy underscore nate um yeah man go show the man some love uh like button subscribe anything you could do show him that love and support that the raider nation has man but without further ado raider nation let's get into today's topic and there's a couple of them there's a couple of them man um i am happy kind of surprised and not mad all, all together man that, that those are my initial reactions to all of these to all of these man um and this is chapstick by the way man i don't want you guys thinking nothing crazy right but let me let me get into to the into the topic number one raiders have released off the off the 53 male roster wide receiver former udfa this season um Dylan Stoner, right? Um, this guy, Dylan Stoner, uh, UDFA, we just signed him this offseason or right after the draft, I should say. Um, he had his shot in the preseason, had some flashes, but didn't do too much. He had his opportunity on kickoff and punt return um, in the in, in preseason, didn't do much there either. Um, in my opinion, I would have much rather us um, elevate a guy like DJ Turner who can take kick return and punt return duties and he's a good decent backup slot receiver I would have liked us to elevate him over Dylan Stoner I think I mentioned that when we first signed Dylan Stoner to the active roster but the Raiders have officially released wide receiver Dylan Stoner now the situation with him is that the Raiders are very high on him so I don't expect us to just release him and not not get him back I do believe that the plan is if he clears waivers we are then going to try and re-sign him to the practice squad um i think he'll clear waivers with no problem he hasn't put anything great on film for other teams to want him um uh, not in the receiving game not in the return game he has a penalty on kickoff coverage so he hasn't put anything great on film for a team to really want to go out there and um and get him so i do believe that he will clear waivers and end up being on a practice squad once again but that is the first news of today. The Raiders have released wide receiver Dylan Stoner, probably set to clear waivers tomorrow or Friday or tomorrow or Saturday. Um, and then we'll most likely bring him back on the practice squad. Now, next, um, before the big news, before the big news that I know we all want to talk about right now, um, Raiders have also released another player. This one goes by the name of DJ Fluker. He is a tar tackle slash guard played with the ravens um i don't understand this one man um me personally i i think that this probably is a, a fact of health because dj fluker man when healthy this guy is a very very serviceable right tackle slash guard so i not i'm not too sure on why we let him go um hopefully this is to to um to try and find out a different um tweak in his game because he got released but he was never on the 53 man roster so he is now a free agent um he he got released from the practice squad so he was never elevated um dj fluker was definitely a guy that i was hoping that would be up to health very very soon and and maybe hopefully make a a push to start at right tackle but um we we did release dj fluker from the practice squad so it doesn't make much sense to me i don't think he'll be back with us um i do think that this has to be a health thing because i just don't think that if he's healthy you release him um for for any team to scoop him up i i, I just don't think so um it's a bit surprising saying that uh brandon parker has not been playing great football at all brandon parker has not been doing what he needs to be doing as a starting right tackle um so I'm not too sure, man. I, I, this one was a little bit confusing. I would have loved for us to hold on to him, man, because I do think that he had, he's not too old. And, and when he was with the Ravens, he put some very, very, very decent film on, on, on tape, or he put some very, very good tape on film, I should say. Um, so this one, a little bit confusing, but it could be just us making room uh much like with the Dylan Stoner situation. It could just be us making room for former second round pick out of Clemson cornerback 
Trayvon Mullen. Um, as we all know, once a player goes on IR, he is no longer on the 53-man roster, or he doesn't take up space on the 53-man roster. That's what I should say. Um, so with Dylan Stoner getting released, that, that opens up a roster spot. That could be us making way for Trayvon Mullen. Um, and it's kind of interesting because with Trayvon Mullen, the whole thing was we didn't want to put him out on the field until he's full health, right? Now, I feel like if you're not going to play Trayvon Mullen this week, there's no need to release Dylan Stoner this week. You might as well keep him on the practice squad. I mean, you might as well keep him on the 53-man roster for another game. Um, but I could be looking a little bit too far in between the lines. I could That could just be me thinking a little too much outside the box. Um, but personally, I think that that move only gets made if you're choosing to try and play Trayvon Mullen this week. Now, um, the news with Trayvon Mullen is that the team has officially designated um, our cornerback Trayvon Mullen um, a return off of IR. Now, once a player is on IR... Um, you, you can't practice and you can't play, right? And today was Trayvon Mullen's first day back on the field. He didn't practice much. He, he really didn't do anything, but he was on the practice field today with the team. Um, now, obviously, we play on Sunday. You have Thursday, which was today, Friday, which is tomorrow, and Saturday. Saturday, there's no practice, um, I don't think, or if it is, it's just walkthroughs. So you essentially got three days to get up to speed before game day. So I think Trayvon Mullen might be be edging towards uh, maybe at least suiting up on, 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 on game day, but I really don't think so. I think this will be more for the, uh, the Chiefs game the week after. But I'm very, very, very happy that Trayvon Mullen is close to a return. Obviously, we haven't had him since week four, and we've been playing musical chairs in the cornerback room, right? It went from uh, Amik Robertson, where he had a great game, and then he had a horrible game, and then he got benched. And then it went from us signing Desmond Trufant, and then what we did was we we, we signed or, or we, we played Brandon Faison, and he played two great games two bad games. This last game was pretty in the middle. He had great spurts and then he had bad spurts. And then obviously Desmond Trufant has been the rotational guy and we haven't seen much of Amik Robertson. So I'm really, really glad. It seems like we should be getting our number two corner very, very soon, whether it's this week or the following. Now, Obviously, this week we play the Washington football team. Um, I would love for him to be able to play, go, saying that we're going up against Terry McLaurin, Logan Thomas, and Curtis Samuel. Those guys are all pretty, pretty, pretty darn good, right? Curtis Samuel, gadget guy, can do a lot of stuff. I would love for Trayvon Mullen to be back to help us out with that. But at the same time, um, do I want to rush him in to, to, to potentially maybe tweak or re-injure something before the Chiefs game where we need his help even more? Absolutely not. So, if if Trayvon Mullen is not up to full health, I don't want us to put him in the starting lineup just yet. Um, obviously, the team does have 21 days before um, he would have he would revert back to IR, and then it would be season ending, right? So, if the team doesn't do anything within the next 21 days, he would be put on season ending IR, which means he would not be eligible to return at all this season. So um, obviously, hopefully what we're looking forward to is maybe a return this week, maybe next week. Um, like I said, I would love for him to be available to help us against uh, Terry McLaurin and, and Curtis Samuel, but I also want him there um, more for Mikko Hardman, uh, Brian Pringle, and... and um, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, and those guys, right? I mean, that that's that's a team that we really, really, really need to have our best um, 11 players on the field in terms of defense because they can score at any given time, and, and Trayvon Mullen is a big, big piece of this defense, um, and, and I would love to see him back, right? But really quick, because I know a lot of you guys were not on last night's live, I would like to ask you guys a question. We have Desmond Trufant, we have Brandon Faison, and Amik Robertson. For those of you guys who've made it this far into the video, if Trayvon Mullen is not available to play this week, who do you want to play the starting or the 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 cornerback number two role opposite side of um, Casey Hayward? One, Amik Robertson. Two, Brandon Faison. That's the guy that's been there. Three, 
Desmond Trufant. My opinion, I would like us to see Amik Robertson give give him another chance, man. He had one bad game and was benched. Or do you want to see Brandon Faison, who looks great or looks horrible at times? Or do you want to see Desmond Trufant really get his uh, chance with the Las Vegas Raiders? Obviously, he's been a rotational piece um, um, so far with us. So if you made it this far into the video, I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. But Red Nation, that'll be it for today's video. Um, appreciate all you guys for being, uh, for all the support you guys have been giving me on the road to 3,000 subscribers. So if you're new, please hit the uh, subscribe button. And uh, if you're not new, hit the like button. Comment in the comment section down below. I love to read your comments. I always try and get back to most of you guys that I can. But I'm out, Red Nation. Love y'all. Peace.